Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria where there's a new expansion out, Voice of the People, and that means it is time for a new campaign. We're only a couple days late, it's absolutely fine. And I think that the time has come for the inevitable Ethiopia campaign. Of course, we were always going to do an Ethiopia campaign at some point. We need to form Ethiopia and I was looking around here. I usually play when I'm playing in the Ethiopia region as Amhara. It generally seems to have better, a better situation for ruling this area. And I think there's historical reasons for that, but uh, that's generally the case. Th this has Amhara and Oromo as primary cultures though, and Oriental Orthodox as the religion. So I think Shua is a good option here. We could go for Ajum. Shua is slightly stronger militarily. I mean, these guys over here aren't the threat, right? These guys up here are the threat. So uh, we're not too concerned about that. A stronger start is not necessarily a bad thing. We're going to be running on default game rules with achievements available. And uh, hopefully that doesn't break partway through. We ended the last series with achievements disabled, but that's just because we continued beyond the end of the game. So that's absolutely fine. We're definitely going to look to expand here and form the... What is it going to be? A kingdom of Ethiopia? Probably? Yeah, this is the uh, Solomon dynasty. So yeah, this is exactly who we want to play as. Perfect. So let's go ahead and hit this sweet, sweet start button. And let's see what we've got here. Beautiful. So this is what we're starting with. Oh, this UI is immediately looking different to me. Is this because of the region or because of the patch? I'm not sure which, but this is definitely different. Pops are below the minimum expected standard of living. They're, they're not actually. It looks like that needs to be updated. That's fine. We do need a research and that's going to be important. But first I want to take a quick look in here. Oh, uh, first, before we do anything else, I actually want to hide the UI with Control F9, and I'm going to real quick take a screenshot. There we go, for the thumbnail. Perfect. All according to plan. Okay, that's before we get anything else changed. Cool. What do we want to do for research? We have prospecting, distillation, cotton gin. I honestly feel like we want to go a little bit, a little bit heavy into military. We could go for gunsmithing or mandatory service. What is our current conscription situation? Only six conscript battalions? Okay. What is our current military law? Peasant levies. Disgusting. Okay. We're going to want to switch off of that to like professional army, mass conscription, something like that eventually. Our laws in general are kind of gross. What is our target here? We probably just want to liberalize, I think, and just try to get as powerful as possible. That's generally the best way to play Victoria. I'm going to be playing on speed 4 this time. We played the last game mostly on speed 5. It felt a little short to me, so we're going to do that. And I think that we'll go for probably gunsmithing here. That'll take 35 months to research. Alternatively, 35 months, 35 months. Is there anything that's substantially shorter? Democracy is an interesting option to go early on like this, if we are indeed going to liberalize. But I really do want to get Ethiopia formed, so I think we're going to go for gunsmithing here. Now, we need to figure out our construction. We're at plus 2.83k right now. We have pretty good gold reserves. Can you immediately start a diplomatic play in, in uh, Victoria? I'm not sure I've tried. We've got these guys here who only have five plus two battalions. We might want to immediately take them over and get ourselves a little bit of a leg up on power. Oh, the, a Unify Ethiopia diplomatic play. Fascinating. I didn't realize that we had a special diplomatic play for it. That's very, very neat indeed. So these are exactly the same. So I guess we'll just use Unify Ethiopia CVs. We should probably go over to Egypt and improve relations with them. If Egypt decided to intervene in this, it would be problematic. If anyone else did, would it be fine? It would depend on who it was. I'm betting they're not going to. Let's give it a go and see what happens. 
That's going to be very interesting. We, of course, are going to need to recruit ourselves a general, and that'll be in the Ethiopia HQ. Uh, who is powerful right now? Armed forces are more powerful than landowners, remarkably. But actually, I'm okay with that. So we're going to recruit armed forces here because we want to get switched off of peasant levies and having powerful armed forces would be a good way to do that. So this guy is going to need like one promotion and that's it. We can then mobilize him and send him out over to this front here. So he's on his way over there. We of course don't have anything that we can do in terms of turning up our buildings. Uh, that's not a thing. Oh yeah, and they changed this around a little bit. But mostly it's just that we don't have any urban buildings. So, are we lacking anything in particular? Not right now. So what we might want to do... Actually, all we can build is logging camps here. We might want to get those built right away. How long will they take to build? Oh, that's interesting. That doesn't disappear off of the list anymore. Noted. How long do these take to build? 28 weeks? That's pretty grim. I kind of want to get a couple of extra construction sectors. We have zero right now. 3.3k. Okay. Uh, wood is very expensive. Or would be very expensive. I think for the time being, we just build wood. And we focus on getting this taken over. They are, I think, by far the weakest that we're facing, right? Uh, let's see here. Five. Uh, these guys are also pretty weak. So we can move down this way as well. These guys are belligerent towards us. Interesting. Egypt is cautious. Yeah, I think by and large we'll be okay. So let's see what happens here. We could, in fact, convince Harar to join us. But we'll have to tick forward here, of course. So we'll get this construction very slowly underway. Very, very slowly. And for the time being, our finances are non-great. But we'll work our way through this, and we'll just try to take over a large section of Africa, I think, is going to be our goal. And, of course, we want to survive Europe. So that's good. So our infamy is at 5.5 already. Yeah, that's not bad. Gajam sided with Walega. Now, that's slightly problematic for us. We should probably activate our conscripts here. But we only have the one general. So I'm going to recruit another one from the armed forces. Should be fine. And you're going to mobilize. I'm not going to promote you. You are going to go defend this front. We're going to look to knock these guys out of the war quickly. And just delay these guys. That would be the idea here. Fingers crossed that that works. I had hoped that no one would end up joining this. But if these guys do... Hmm. Let's add that war goal. Apparently we can't make it into a primary demand. But that's okay. Now they're currently confident. And... Why is that? 20 plus 4 and 5 plus 2. I mean... Yeah, Gajam is going to be potentially a little bit tough for us, but I think we'll be okay, all things considered. They should have exactly the same technology as us, right? Like, we definitely can't do anything else over here. But one thing we could do is we could build additional barracks. And let's do exactly that. Now, I put these at the top of the queue. And we should probably move them up. They will build quite quickly in comparison to these logging camps, in theory. Yeah, 10 weeks each. But that's going to be a little bit slow. The Age of Princes, huh? Oh yeah, we need to own all of Amhara and all of Gondor. Yeah, we'll work on that. Absolutely. I'm very tempted to get another construction facility. But for now, I think this is okay. They have 15 here, allegedly. Uh, what is their... 5 plus 2. So these guys are spread out a bit. Noted. This is going to be a bit of an awkward war for us here at the beginning. 
And at this point, no one is willing to join us, including Harar, who were willing to join us at the beginning of the war. I would very much like to bring Harar in here. What does their flag look like? That. Okay. So it would be these guys. Acceptance score minus 10, offered obligation plus 38, their relative preference for us minus 48. Okay. Noted. Well, we'll see how this plays out. It's going to be very interesting indeed. These guys are currently confident, and I mean, they have a slight numerical advantage on us, so that's good for them, I guess. Indeed. Well, the idea is we knock these guys out of the war quickly, and these guys just hold until we can focus everything on Gajam. That's the idea. I have no idea how this is going to go. It's going to be very interesting. That's for sure. What's our relative defense here? 13 to 13, but it's 10 to 15. Okay. This battle is going well for them, not us. Why are we on this side? <laughs> okay, I don't know why we're on this side. That's, that's really weird. We're going to have a hard time pushing through their defense. We're winning this, of course, because our defense is much better than their, defen their defense. And we're going to have the same problem over here. So it's going to be very difficult for us to push in. And it's going to be very difficult for them to push in. So now we win this defense. And we're winning both of these defenses at this point, right? We're only defending on this front for now. So that's looking very good. The real question is, can we break through and attack them over here? I suspect that ultimately we can. And once we get this front eliminated, we should in theory be okay. We've also got these barracks being worked on. We're currently full up on our money. So that's definitely a thing. If we're full on our money, I want to get a construction sector in here. And I put that at the bottom. I want to move it to the top, but not exactly to the top. I want to put it here. Okay. So we've got that going. And we're still winning this battle. We're winning this battle, of course. We're going to probably lose this battle here. Yes. So that's reasonably expected, I think. Now this battle we win. Again, fully expected. And they're going to continue attacking us here. And it's just not generally going to go that well for them, I think. So we're working on our construction sector here. This is going to double our construction speed, which is going to be a very big deal. This battle, of course, we are losing, which we kind of do expect to be losing these offensive battles, to be clear. We're trying to soften them a bit. Looks like they switched over to purely defense over here. Which is fair enough. And why are we showing up on this side? That, that feels very weird to me. We should be here because we're attacking this way. But I guess it's because of attacker, defender. I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb. That's a possibility. That's very, very likely. Yeah, we're the defender here, and that that must be what's happening. Attacking, defending. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not surprised that we're struggling a bit to push through here. That's very deeply unsurprising to me. Now, we have finished up our construction sector here. And that was our constri conscription center. Our construction sector is going to be a little bit slow to fill. So that's fine for now. Now, this battle we're winning, which is expected. I think we will eventually crack our way through here. Eventually. Yeah, that's our defensive battle there. This battle is... Wait, we're, this is... We're defending both of these? Yeah, we're defending both of these. Okay, so that's noted. Hey, we now have some construction sector. Fantastic. 
So we're going to launch an attack here. That's not going to go well for us. It's going to be tough. But these guys are continually attacking us up here. We're only attacking on this side, but we're only attacking every other time. So realistically, I do think that eventually we're going to get some, uh, get some progress here. The question is, can we get there in time? Can we get there in time? And the answer to that is a solid maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We're at 24 advantage here now. And this barracks just expanded. Okay, how's this battle going? Poorly. Sure. Our attacks are going to be tough at this point. We need to keep that in mind. Great Britain lost their interest in Ethiopia. Okay, that's fascinating. There's no progress over here right now. Now that's very interesting. Very interesting indeed. So obviously we lose that offensive attack. It looks like they've switched over to pure defense, which I can't... No, they haven't. They just weren't attacking there for a bit. Now this will lose again, and I guess this means that we should switch this over to advancing this front. Did you go to the wrong front? This front. Thank you. Okay. So we should start doing this. It's going to be painful in terms of our uh, losses. But I think that we will eventually start to break through. Actually, we're winning here right now. Remarkably. Beautiful. If we start pressing through here, that's actually huge. And this we're winning, of course, because we're defending that. So that was actually just huge that we pushed through there like that. Are we going to win another battle is the next question. They are only defending now. And yeah, we're push they're they're collapsing. They're completely collapsing. Beautiful. Are they going to collapse down on this front? Not yet. But even if we just get this taken care of, that's such a huge deal. This is absolutely enormous up here right now. This is a very, very good sign. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, they're just getting crushed. They must have high demoralized numbers from attacking us over here for so long. But yeah, they're getting demolished at this point, and that's great. We're going to have Gajam fully under our control very soon. Gajam is a larger threat here, remember. Yeah, we're just winning battle after battle there. We're still struggling down here in in Waliga, but we'll get there. This is going very well, actually. This is going far better than I thought it would, for the record. <laughs> far, far, far better. So we'll see what happens up here, but this is nearly all occupied at this, at this juncture. Let's see how this battle goes. We're winning it. Beautiful. That's absolutely wonderful. Now, this down here is going to apparently take us a little longer. Uh, they have this front over here, but there's no one defending that. We, we should shift over there pretty quickly. I want these guys to go advance. Not defend this front. I want these guys to go advance this front. Get over here. Okay. There we go. And Gajam just capitulated. So now we're fully on this front, and we're starting to push in now. These guys have no chance. Cool. So this was huge. This was absolutely huge. Enact homesteading. Do we want to do this? Hang on. Where is that law? I'm not used to homesteading. Is that a new thing? What is that even under? It's a land reform. Okay, so we're on serfdom right now. This will get us off of serfdom. The landowners are going to be really upset about this. Okay. I say we go for it. It's interesting that we apparently can't do it from here anymore. That we now have to go into here and do it. That feels like a bit of a step backward. Now, to be clear, I don't... With 70% with of the cloud opposed to this, I don't necessarily expect this to be a thing. Okay, so 
This is different. Introduction, consideration, adoption, with three potential setbacks. Fascinating. So we're currently losing this battle, but we outnumber them to such a huge degree here that this shouldn't be a, a, a big deal. I want to check in and see... Yeah, stall 70%. We're probably not going to get anything here. Wait, we lost that battle, but we still took over the... Uh... Oh, no. Okay, I was looking at this wrong. Never mind. So this... We're going to start winning now at this point. There's... We just have such a huge troop advantage here with 44 units. It's fine. Okay, so uh, there is this revolution to preserve serfdom. And of course, that means that we need to cancel this, right? And okay, so that's actually new. Th that'll get them plus 30 radicalism. So we'll cancel that. That's not going to be a thing. The, the radicalism isn't a big deal anyway. So we'll just hold off on that for the time being. It's okay. We'll wrap up this war. And we should probably work on incorporating this state. We'll get that going. And let's see here. Wood is currently expensive. No shockers there. We knew that that was going to be the case. We should probably consider moving our logging camps up the queue now. How does this have half progress? Oh, we must have inherited it from them. That's interesting. Okay, so we'll have that be underway for now. And that's very good progress. Okay, I don't really care too much about this battle. This battle, of course, we're winning, and they are now capitulated. Beautiful. So that is now done, and we should probably immediately work on incorporating this state as well. Wait, that's already incorporated. Oh, cool. That's excellent. So we are going to go after these guys eventually next, I think. Uh, who would potentially join them, I wonder, if we did this now? Like, if we were to do a unify Ethiopia diplomatic play here, Great Britain could join or Egypt. I don't think they actually would. To be clear. What are we at for our infamy? 6.2? And this would give us 4.8. I think we go for it. We'll see if anybody is likely to join there. Nobody's likely to join us here, which isn't surprising. What do we have for battalions now, though? 37. We're instantly so much stronger from taking that over. So we've got a very, very solid start here. I would like to get ourselves more construction sectors. I do think those logging camps are important, but I want to get this construction sector going first. And we'll see who ends up joining this. Hopefully we don't have to back down. We shouldn't have to. Overall, this looks mostly okay. We are going to have some bureaucracy issues. And we should probably consider building at least one government administration in each of these areas. I'll queue those up at the bottom of the list for now. Our uh, construction list is going to be extensive. No doubt about that. Okay, so nobody's immediately looking to join this. Cool. I'm going to mobilize these guys and send them down over here. And I'm going to mobilize these as well and send them on down. Beautiful. So we'll arrive there in just a couple of days. So that'll be kind of the low-hanging fruit taken over, right? That's the idea here anyway. That's the low-hanging fruit there. What do we have? The outlaw prince. A minor noble has rapidly risen to power and popularity. Hmm. Well, he is a Solomon. Enthrone him. What could happen? Or what could go wrong, I should say. <laughs> so far, nobody's joining in on this one, and that's a very good sign. I like it. We've been able to, like, double our size already, and that's great. We need to figure out what exactly our goal is here. Let's see here. It's in nation formation here. Okay. So that is what we need for forming Ethiopia. Noted. So that will, of course, be our target for right now. We want to get that nation formed for the moment. And we're getting this construction sector finished now. 
So we're starting to get the snowball rolling on that front. That looks good. Our population growth is really low. No doubt about that. We're not shocked about this, for the record. And this radicalism... It's gonna be a thing. War with Sadamo has broken out. Cool. They want to conquer all of our territory. That's hilarious. Okay, so we're going to attack them over here, right? That's definitely a thing that we're going to do. We're gonna get these logging camps done. I think for now, looking at our finances, we don't build another construction sector. We need to get logging camps worked on. That's very clear. Now, I'm expecting us to lose some of these fights at the beginning here. Unless we just happen to roll quite well. We're, we need to lose until we start to win, is the way that this is going to work down here for now. However, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to finish our conquest of Sadamo and continue to take over the Ethiopia region. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, James, Shadow Wolf, and Lohan80, Rogue Corvid, Kintogan, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.